Yahusha, Joshua 20. Yahuwah also spoke unto El Yahusha, saying, Speak to the children of Yashedael, saying, Appoint out for you eth cities of refuge, whereof I spoke unto you by the hand of Moshe, that the slayer that kills any person unawares and unwittingly may flee thither, and they shall be your refuge from the avenger of blood. And when he that flees unto one of those cities shall stand at the entering of the gate of the city, and shall declare at his cause in the ears of the elders of that city, they shall take him into the city unto them, and give him a place that he may dwell among them. And if the avenger of blood pursue after him, then they shall not deliver Eth the slayer up into his hand, because he smote Eth his neighbor unwittingly, and hated him not before time. And he shall dwell in that city until he stand before the assembly for judgment, and until the death of the high priest that shall be in those days. Then shall the slayer return, and come unto his own city, and unto his own house, unto the city from whence he fled. And they appointed Eth Kadesh in Galil, in Mount Naphtali, and Eth Shechem in Mount Ephraim, and Eth Kiryat Arba, which is Hebron, in the mountain of Yahudah, and on the other side of the Yardan, by Yericho, eastward. And they assigned Eth Betzer in the wilderness upon the plain out of the tribe of Reuven, and Eth Remoth in Gilad out of the tribe of Gad, and Eth Golan in Bashan out of the tribe of Menasheh. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Yashereel, and for the stranger that sojourns among them, that whosoever kills any person at unawares might flee thither and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood until he stood before the assembly.